Nice. What's up guys, it's RevJ again, and hopefully you've watched some of the previous videos I've done on Sandwich's 350Z. Those might be the EBC video, uh, any of the videos in our Plastidip series, uh, and he's appeared in a couple others. Well, he let me know one day that he was kind of annoyed, uh, and he was annoyed at the fact that every time he went online, he couldn't find a good video uh, showing the HID projector upgrade on the 350Z. Now, plenty of people have done it all over the forums, and as well as you see them at car shows and stuff, but there weren't any really good write-ups, or at least video write-ups, uh, that he could follow, especially that showed the wiring and some of the process with the actual light. So, he called me over, said, bring the camera, let's just shoot the fucking thing. So that's what we did. Now when I got over there, the first thing we did was pull off the front bumper to see exactly what we were working with. With the front bumper off, you can see the brackets and the screws that hold the headlight in place. As we dislodged the light, we pulled it partially out and gained access to the wiring connector on the back. It's a little fiddly, you gotta get in with a screwdriver or a small pair of fingers, pair of fingers, I guess small fingers, and try to undo the clip. Once you get the weather pack apart, the headlight itself comes straight out. Me and Sandwiches moved it from the garage to the house so we could get better lighting to show you guys exactly what had to be done. Alright, so once we got inside, we set the light out on the table uh, along with some screwdrivers and some basic stuff, and the first main step was to pop the rear cover off the back of the light. With the rear cover popped off, we gained access to the ballast, the ballast lead, the bulb, and the clips and stuff holding everything in place. The first thing you need to do is disconnect that ballast lead from the bulb, it just snaps off. And you can remove the grounding strap uh, from the ballast lead. The wire bracket will also come off and the bulb can be removed. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. So with that all done, we can flip the headlight around and undo the three screws holding the ballast into place. It's this large box here on the bottom. With those three, you pop the ballast up and off, and then you can remove the single screw and the wiring harness that are into the bottom of the ballast. This is the other end of the ballast lead you disconnected on the bulb side. With all that done, you can then feed that lead out of the headlight. You now have the ballast, the ballast lead, the bulb, and all the grounding straps out of the light, which leaves you with the stripped stock headlight, which we can put to the side. It'll go in a recycling bin, parts bin, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, swap meat, whatever. Probably end up on the internet somewhere. With that done, we can move to the new set of projector headlights to retrofit the necessary parts. We start on the new light by removing the rear cover. It's exactly the same as it was on the stock light, however this one does have some nice markings to let you know where you need to line it up to. Uh, we can then feed that ballast lead that we just removed from the old light in place into this new light, kind of tuck it off to the side. The next important thing we need to do is use this ground lead and attach it to the actual bracket where the bulb's going to connect. All we have to do is undo the screw holding the wire bracket above the bulb, line up the hole in the grounding strap with the existing hole, they're the same size, you don't need to drill them out or anything, and simply reaffix the screw into the hole. You now have a grounding strap to a nice metal bracket on the side of the bulb. You can then install the bulb, tighten the bracket, and snap the ballast lead over this side of the bulb. Flipping the headlight back around again, the other side of the ballast lead clips in to the ballast and is re uh, reattached with the same screw, same way we did, uh, we did the process to strip it down. Really, this whole thing is just that process in reverse. With the wiring back in, we can lay the ballast back into place and screw it in with these three screws and then connect to the outside wiring harness to the ballast to make a full connection. So now that we've got all the new stuff in the new headlight, we can go ahead and go back from the house, back out to the garage, and reinstall these lights into the headlight buckets. Just a matter of reconnecting the same wiring harness we undid in the very beginning when we removed the headlights. And that we can then test to make sure that everything wired up correctly, that we have high and low beam, and that we have turn signals. 
And that's it, we're good to go guys. The new headlights are in place, all we need to do is throw the front bumper back on and we're ready to take it out at night. Yes, it's a good idea to also make sure to try to get up at night against a garage door or a wall or something and level your headlights. Nothing is worse than driving down the road in front of a car with bad, bad HIDs and they're blinking all over in your rearview mirror. That's absolutely annoying. However, we're not gonna show that in this video because we are out of time for now, guys. You've seen us take them out. The simple wiring and retrofitting from the old light to the new light and a quick reinstall. Really, the whole thing didn't take that long. The whole project, and I didn't really help much, it was pretty much all sandwiches, took uh, under about two and a half hours. The most tedious part about that was going through, disassembling uh, all the headlight uh, parts that we needed to, transferring everything over, and just take your time, be careful, don't break any of the brackets, don't strip any of the screws. But that's straightforward stuff, guys. You just need to make sure that you're keeping an eye on what you're doing and it'll go pretty smoothly. Now, sandwiches can stop complaining that there isn't a halfway decent video on how to do this online, uh, thanks to him, I guess. So if any of you guys like this video, feel free to let me know in the comments below or reach out on social media. And uh, I will let sandwiches know if you like this video because it was his idea. If you don't like the video, also let me know and I'll give sandwiches the finger and tell him he's an asshole because he made me do this. So, I got more shoe videos, more car videos, probably some gaming videos, way more random crap as always. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.